there's an old saying that I heard that there's two kinds of people born in the hospital every day. There's a person born in the hospital that's going to get a job and there's a person born in the hospital that's going to give that person the job. You have to decide along the way which one you're going to be. When people hear the word leader, they don't think of themselves. They think, I'm not in charge of any people at work or I'm only in charge of a small team. Or they think, I'm not running anything. I'm not the CEO of a company. But I've got news for you. If you're a human being and you interact with other people, which you do, you are a leader. We are all leaders. When you go through life and you interact with other people, you have to lead them. Whether you actually are a CEO that's in charge of a thousand people, you're a leader. But as a frontline individual contributor, you're also a leader. You might be trying to lead your peers. You might be trying to lead your boss to move in a certain direction that makes more sense. You might be leading your family. You might be trying to lead your spouse in a certain direction. You might be trying to lead your children to take the right path. No matter who you are, you are a leader. You can be a leader, but a leader is a developed set of skills. It's a developed set. And, and the more, but see, here's what stops the average person from being a leader, is the fear of the consequences of leading. Most people don't want the responsibility of being a leader. The responsibility and ramifications and consequences of being a follower is dire, more dire, and more severe. Because now, as a follower, you just got to go along with whatever. You know how many adjustments you got to make when you a follower? But understand what a leader is, though. Sometimes you just really want to be the leader of your own life. There's an underlying theme that I need to make crystal clear to you all right now. If you go and implement these principles because you want to take care of yourself, it's not going to work. You know, it's two things, you know, when a person dies on their tombstone, there's a birthday, there's a dash, and then there's a date of your demise. And let me tell you something, when you die, they're not going to talk about your birthday. They're not going to talk about the day you die. The biggest conversation will be about that dash, that little dash. That's the life you live in the middle of that date of birth and the date of demise. That dash will determine who you are. It's all on you, but it's not about you. So when you go forth with these principles, and you're doing them, like I said, so you can get promoted, or you can more, make more money, or you can be in control, if that's why you're doing it, it's not gonna work. It's all on you, but it's not about you. It's about the team. And if you take care of your team, if that's your intent, if that's what you're trying to do, and you're doing the right things for the right reasons, your team will win, you will accomplish the mission, and in the end, I promise, you will win as well.